Honey Bees, my name is Raven. That's Jasper back there. This is October, and welcome back to our channel. Subscribe to become part of the hive. Be sure to like and ring the notification bell. Thanks, Honey Bees. Enjoy the video. Meow. Okay, bye bye, dance. Ready? Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye. Okay, so today I'm playing a game. I am told it's not really a game. It's more of like something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing a, a film clacker here, so I'm guessing it's movie related. This is again one of those situations where I just kind of sit down and something's already loaded for me, so I have no idea what we're going to get into, um, and we might as well just start. Um, I'm really excited to see what this is all about, so let's do it. I'm going to type in my name first. Raven. That is my real name. Honey. Not my real last name, but that's okay. Close enough. And I click OK. Oh, a wall? Steven Spielberg. Oh. Like, actually? <laughs> a Raven Honey film. Mm-hmm. That's me. I don't think that'd be the name I'd go by professionally, like in movies. Starring Jennifer Aniston and Quentin Tarantino. Really? Penn and Teller, Catherine Hellman and Bear. Okay. Like actually though? Excuse me, where's this one going? State 17. Watch oh. your backs. Oh geez. Okay, it's a set. Alright. So we're making a movie? Is that what's going on or are we watching a movie? Is this gonna be like Tender Love and Care? When I played that? That was fun. Welcome. Oh! I've chosen you. To direct our next project so welcome to the studio thank you Stephen now making movies is one of the greatest jobs in the world mm. you've got to have talent mm -hmm. intuition patience and energy mm. and the real innate ability to tell a story and yeah. a comfortable pair of shoes <laughs> of course a great crew is also essential so I've handpicked some of the best people in Hollywood to work with you and I'll be around to guide you through the process from writing the script to premiering the film okay the movie you're about to personally make. Oh. So go to Studio Operations and please sign in. Is this like a movie making simulator? Where do I go? Oh. Whoa. Just a minor trembler. Nothing to really worry about. Welcome to Southern California. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's an earthquake. Come on into Operations to sign in. I can't start production until you do. I know what PA means. I live in Southern California, so. I've yet to have an earthquake since I moved here, though. If you ever need help, just click on the page or I'll leave it here on the desk. Oh, I know I have it here somewhere. One second. <laughs> okay. Got it. Working title. I'm bad at thinking of titles for stories. Okay, now this is Studio Operations, where you get started. So grab one of the blank slates wow. and then sign in. We're in Hollywood right right where the Hollywood sign is. Wow, it's right outside the window. Okay, a blank slate. Yeah, these are slates. If your name is correct, hit OK. If you'd like to change it, do so now. That's then my name. Click on the newspaper when you're done reading it. Raven Honey hired to direct film. Is that okay? The guys at the studio are thrilled you're directing this picture, but they run a tight <laughs> ship here, so they're going to monitor your budget and schedule on a daily basis. Okay. Here, take a look, then click on it to move on. Oh, my schedule? Oh, okay. Look budget when you're done reviewing it. Hollywood is filled with stories of people who've cheated their way to the top. While strongly recommending that you advance by hard work and raw talent, we do provide the means to cheat your way up to more advanced levels of play. Click on the PA pager button and check users. Okay. Uh, so my budget for this movie is 845K and I have 22 days to make it. Log day one. Okay. Costs. Write a piece of script. 5K. Okay. Set up a scene. Okay. Budget when you're done All right. You should go next door to pre-production to start writing your script. Click on the exit icon over there to go out to the lot. So then I'm not just directing the movie. I'm also writing it. Okay, where do I click? Oh, okay. Hello. 
product credits, production credits, studio theater, graphics lab, sound, FX, studio ex exit, editing, stage 17. Okay. Cool. And then, oh, what is it? Pre-production. Studio exit. Okay. Where was I supposed to go? I already forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where am I supposed I to go? They sent me on a run, but don't worry, I'm still there for you. If you need me, just click on my pager and then drag it over to the place where you have the question about. Now this is a special pager. I've programmed it to give you the information you're looking for. If you get lost or you just want to know how to do <laughs> How did you program faster, the pager? Click on the PA pager button. It'll show you everything you need to know about the room you're in. Well, that's another Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. The PA is busier than I am, I guess. Okay, pre I guess do we have to go to pre-production to write the script because it is pre-production. Oh, okay, script outline. Gotcha. Mhm. Mm we owe so true. our careers to the writers. And my saying has always been if it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. Ah. So we got you a couple of positively and really amazing terrific writers, Ted and Terry or Terry. And oh, Terry, okay. Who have their own ideas. So learn early to collaborate, knowing that in the end... So I'm not writing it by myself. ...who must make the final decision about the story that you want to tell. Okay. So this is your first time up at bat. Keep it nice and simple. The story that's been greenlit is that of a prisoner wrongly accused of murder who's about to be executed unless his girlfriend can find who set him up. Oh, okay. Fortunately, this studio is only willing to let you tell one side of the story, so... Whose story do you want to tell? The prisoners or the girlfriends? Ooh. That's a tough decision. Who do I want to... Oh, my God. I have to decide right now. Whose story do I want to tell? The prisoner or the girlfriends? Well, I, th I think the prisoner would be interesting because it's like we get to see him going through prison. It would be cool. Him getting arrested, like, where he actually was during the murder. The girlfriend, though, would be looking for evidence. So maybe we could also, like, have flashbacks of him. So I'm going to say the girlfriend. I feel like that's actually more interesting. How would you like the script? I want to work on the script with you on Troy Super. I want to work on it with you. I definitely want some input here. Okay. Script outline. Oh, okay. TV news report about Jack Cavello, who is about to be sent to the electric chair for murder. Okay. Club Madagascar. Laura watches a magic show performed by pain and terror. <laughs> like Penn and Teller. Laura volunteers for one of their tricks. Okay. J yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. That means put it down. Okay. Can I not turn it yet? Okay. There's a Mountain Dew here on the side. You guys. Hey. Oh, I was just waving at them. Okay, are we gonna write the script or? Let's get down to earth with a rock and roll salute to a certain guitar player. Whoa. He may be nothing but a hound dog, but nobody's gonna make a monkey out of him. And once again, the chimps leave him laughing. <laughs> All right. They asked us to write that one. So we chose your film instead. Oh, thanks. I heard a cha-ching. Oh. Yeah? I don't... <laughs> what? <laughs> Is there more to do? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, there's more to read. Laura and Jack are reunited on the prison steps after he is released. Okay, so spoilers for my own movie. <laughs> She's he's gonna get released. The guard wheel the guards wheel Jack's body out on a gurney from the prison basement. Uh uh. What? Typing, typing. Okay, Let's see. Ravenswood Prison. <laughs> That's a good name for a prison. 
Behind these cold stone walls, Jack Cavello eats his last meal, hears his last rites, and at 12 noon will walk the long last mile to the electric chair. The world was shocked when it learned of the brutal slayings of heiress Victoria Hermerdinger. The killer's motive, theft of her famed jewelry collection, including the spectacular diamond Tierra del Fuego. Her trusted chauffeur, Jack Cavello, <gasps> was arrested and convicted, but the jewels were never recovered. Wow, that's a pretty big part of the evidence right there. Instrumental in Cavello's capture were Sigmund Payne and Leroy Terror, magicians, escape artists, and personal psychics to Mrs. Hermerdinger. It was they... <laughs> It was they who led police to the murder weapon, a pearl-handled saber found in the trunk of Cavello's car. S Pain and terror did it. I like it, boys. Yoo -hoo. Yes? I'm sure his arm's getting tired there. Why don't you take that script page and put it in the script book? Okay. Script book. Do I have to, we have to write each one of these? Okay, so now that's in the script. Great. So I have to I have to drag these each to him and so that they could write it. All right. We're going to do the whole script this way. That was your first day of pre-production. Oh, okay. Yay. Great. On top of the world. Uh -huh. Keep it up. Yay. Hooray. Watch television. <laughs> no, no. Write a piece of script. Write a piece of script. Okay. Great. Amazing. And I'll put that in there. Aniston joins friendly cast. Friendly cast. Who would write that? A Raven Honey's film. See, I wouldn't cast Jennifer Aniston. I'm not a big. I don't think she's right for this part, but. I'm not the casting agent here, I guess. I'm just the partial writer and director. Are we just continuing to write the script now? Is it day two? Are we on day two now? I didn't read that last part of the script. Interior, Club Madagascar, dressing room. Laura enters through a red velvet curtain, clutching her purse. She looks around the room and crosses to a small table. She puts her purse down and picks up a sword. She unsheaths it. Oh, Laura. Oh, oh wow. A pearl handled, oh, it's hard to say. A pearl handled saber. It's just like the murder weapon. Where did they hide the tiara? She puts down the sword and finds a pile of jewels hidden under a hat. She pulls a jeweler's loop out from her purse and fits it to her eye. Holding up a huge diamond, she examines it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's real! They're all real! I should have started in this movie. Alright, okay. i put that into script book. Next page. Okay. Club Madagascar, Payne is still on stage, continuing with his trick. He sets the big dial on the magic box to eek Payne. But the lady needed her freedom, and without it, her beauty began to fade, and her darker side emerged. Payne opens the cabinet, revealing a mummy-like creature who is obviously terror. Terror jumps into the front row of the audience. The audience jumps back and screams. Payne, hideous, isn't it? Terror. Get back in the box. Terror re-enters the cabinet and Payne clo closes the curtain behind him. But the king realized that he loved the lady no matter what she looked like. Although gorgeous, babe was preferable. Although a gorgeous babe was preferable. <laughs> and it was his love that brought her back. Payne sets the dial back to gorgeous and opens the cabinet, but it is empty. Unfortunately, she was attacked by a roving band of raptors. And, uh... The king had her mounted and stuffed, though not necessarily in that order. What do you expect? A happy ending from two guys named Pain and Terror? Thank you. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. I love you. Peace. Drive carefully. So long, suckers. I don't really like how this part is written. Um, can we rewrite this or no? Should I? Can I give it back to you? I'll just put it in the script. Okay, we're just going to go through Pen and Teller to reappear in Raven Hunt. Ooh, yay. Pen and Teller are playing the characters I based off of them. Hooray. Okay. 
So we're just going to go through the rest. I'm not going to read all of them because then that'll be the whole video. Tarantino signs on to Raven Honey's new film. Wow, Tarantino, but you're a director. You're going to act in one of my films? Not one that you're directing? I guess he's done that before. He was in Little Nicky. I don't know if he directed From Dust Till Dawn, but he was the lead actor nope. in that. He didn't? Robert Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, he was in. He was starred in From Dust Till Dawn. All right, I guess that's the script. I guess we did it, folks. Hello? We have written the script? Congratulations on your script. Yay. You need to give your film a working title. Oh, no. Don't worry. You can change your title at any time back in operations. I'm so bad at creating titles. Okay, he went to prison, but it wasn't really him. Uh, whoo, okay. I'm gonna go really basic for my first title, and I'll think about this later. The Wrong Man. That sounds like a noir title. I guess I should have a title focused more on the girlfriend character, because it's from her perspective. Okay, what should I do now? There's a studio, editing, sound effect. Okay, so I should go, we're filming now probably. So I should go in there. Is Jennifer Aniston and Quentin Tarantino here? I don't buy them as a couple. I guess I'll have to see how Hi. we've dressed them. My name is Dean Cundy. Hi. Some of the films I've shot include Jurassic Park, Casper, Back to the Future, and Roger Rabbit. Wow. One of the most challenging sequences I've ever had to do was the rapture scene in the kitchen for Jurassic Park. Ah. The excitement of the storytelling had to be told by the images, which was greatly complicated by the fact that the images came at different times and from different places. Mm. Sometimes the actors were in empty rooms, sometimes the actors worked with large mechanical dinosaurs, and sometimes the dinosaurs came from the computer. Mm. All of this had to be tied together by the lighting and the camera angles. So you can see that movies are about images. Yep, and they sure the are. director's vision of the story into images is my job. Nice. So I've read your script, very visual. I've broken it down by moods, made choices about which lights to use, which lenses, and even what film stock is appropriate. Amazing. Why don't you open the script and click on the first scene that you'd like to shoot. Okay. Movies don't shoot in order, so what should I shoot first? I guess I could shoot in order if I wanted to, but why would I do that? I want to do the pain and terror scene. Great place to start. Thank you. The green viewfinder shows you where our master shot is set up. Master shot is a wide shot that shows all the action of a scene. As a novice, you'll be shooting all master shots. A novice. Click on the green viewfinder to load your shot, then the green camera button down there to roll camera. Okay. Hi, I'm Yvonne, the oh. hairdresser for your movie. Hi. It's going to take about 40 minutes to get Laura ready for the movie. Okay. Do you want to... Uh, should I... Do I want to wait? Or I just want to shoot this... I guess I'll wait. Do I have to wait for 40 whole minutes? Wouldn't that be an interesting part of the game? Okay. Laura's ready for makeup now. Yay. Even curtains can screw up a budget. Would you like to wait? I d don't waste my time as much as me. Uh, I uh, what? I guess I'll wait for the. Cur I want this to be a good movie. What if I fail? What if I lose and I don't end up getting to do <laughs> make my movie? Okay, are we shooting now? Oh, here we go. It's a movie picture. Quiet, please. Action! I say that! Hello? Scene? Do you know if it... Wait, I don't... I didn't see it yet. I'm confused. Do you want to... Yes? I didn't see it! I'm confused. You can either select one from your script book, or use the scroll bar to find the scene you want. I didn't get to see the scene. Do I not actually get to see any of these scenes? All right. Uh, 
I guess we're gonna shoot the, just the next scene, sure. Oh, there she is, hi. Roll camera. Do you wanna wait for the lighting to, well, yeah. I don't have to wait for anything to be lit, wouldn't I? Face is stiff to, oh no! Do they want me to cut corners so I could save on budget? Delays? It's day one. Okay, how do I get to actually watch the freaking scene? Do I get to watch the scene or no? Do I just have to click print? I'm confused. Quiet on the set. Okay, we have to shoot it. All right. And rolling. Sound speed. Action. Action. Hello. Print? I didn't get to see it. I'm not getting to see anything. What's the point? That's the fun part of making a movie is freaking watching it <laughs> being made. I don't get to see that part. It's just stupid. I'm going to skip ahead, I guess. I don't get to see any of these freaking scenes. And that's really Jennifer Aniston and Quentin Tarantino it looked like. I don't get to see them in my goddamn movie. Yes, I'll freaking wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about all the money. I don't care. I don't care. What am I gonna cut corners? This is my first major film. I can't see a goddamn thing! <laughs> That's the most interesting part of this game would be getting to watch these scenes and I don't get to see them. All I'm doing is clicking and reading boring shit. I don't get to see the fucking movie. Print nothing. Do I get to see the movie at the end of it? Yeah. Okay, why don't I get to see it as it's happening? That's really stupid. See, I'm just I'm just got to I just got to click <laughs> Until I'm done with this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ma's ready to go into makeup now. Great. I don't care. I don't care. Why are you showing me this? I don't care. I'm gonna do what I want. And print. And print nothing. <sighs> I'm using up all my budget. How am I using up my budget? Oh, something else is happening that's going to take all my money and I'm not even... Production delays continue to hammer the wrong man. I need to change that title. Okay, why am I being delayed? I feel like I'm right on time. Cha-ching. Movies are expensive. My budget's kind of small for a movie. Quiet on the set. Less than a million is pretty and fucking rolling. small. Oh my god, I don't have a lot of budget left. Oh no, out of days to shoot? It's only been, they didn't tell me how many days went by. I don't think, this definitely isn't a simulation because this isn't true to the process. Well, it was a pleasure working. Oh, okay, so I'm done. Well, my job is done, so head over to the editing room and put this thing together. All right. Oh, and I hope you'll think of me when it's time to shoot your next film. I will. Raven Honey Raps production of the wrong man. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can actually watch these scenes now. Sound FX. Should we go to sound or should we edit first? Graphics lab production credits. Did I pass it? Pre-pro. I did. Okay, let's just keep going then and I'm going to go back to it. <laughs> Okay, editing, yep. There we go. Oh, that was in the same building. The scene, Ravenswood Prison. Behind these cold stone walls- Okay, the we're actually watching the scenes year. now. Here's his last rites. And at 12 noon, we'll walk that long last mile to the electric chair. The world was shocked when it learned of the brutal slaying of heiress Victoria Hammerdinger. The killer's <laughs> motive, theft. 
Our famed Hammerlinger. Collection, including the spectacular Diamond Tiara del Fuego. Her trusted chauffeur, Jack Cavello, was arrested and convicted, but the jewels were never recovered. This lady's good. Instrumental in Cavello's capture were Sigmund Payne and Leroy Terror, magicians, escape artists, and personal psychics to Mrs. Hammerdinger. Mm. It was they who led police to the murder weapon, a pearl-handled saber found in the trunk of Cavello's car. Yay, disc two. Manic Tarantino. Oh, I get to choose. Cool. Of course I want to see Manic Tarantino. These are on-the-spot decisions. He's out there. He's really gung ho in though. Oh, so we get to watch the whole movie now? Wait. Okay, so we're watching we're watching everything we shot. So I I, I complained about nothing earlier. That was for I want to see it as it's being whatever. It's fine. I'll watch it in editing. That's okay. What if I want to see Calm Tarantino? Do I get to repick? <laughs> I want to see what that looks like. With the freely selected card plus deep within the deck, my partner Terror will psychically suck its identity is this, from your mind. Is this Pain and Teller? And is that your card? I don't know what Pain and Teller looks like, but I'm assuming this is them. The three of God. There's Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. And now for our finale, I need a volunteer from the audience, someone with an adventurous soul, the thirst. For the unknown and the courage to seek it. Will, will I do? Yes. Very nicely. Right up your face. I don't know if this. I don't. Oh. Appro appropriate. I don't want him to be creepy. And I don't like what that. What is your name? <clears throat> Laura. Laura. Lovely. I have to make very fast choices here. I think my problem with the Jennifer Aniston casting is that I don't believe her and Quentin Tarantino to be dating. I, I like Quentin Tarantino in this role. I need to ca I would I would if I were the casting agent on my movie, I would cast somebody that fits him a little better. Like nothing wrong with Jennifer Aniston, it just like them together. I don't believe it, and I'm the director, so but I can't change that now. Simply lovely. Separating the box. Our final illusion is entitled The Beast Within. I wonder what the creepy scene was like, because you know they shot it. Yeah. That seems like there once was, was a beautiful woman unjustly imprisoned by an evil king. Just just like her boyfriend, unjustly imprisoned. Oh, that should be the title of the movie. Unjustly imprisoned or unjust. Quite an extravagant nerd murder weapon. I kind of like this outfit with this ask. <laughs> she has to ask one of those thingies. I know that was in the script, but picturing it. But the lady needed her freedom, and without it, her beauty began to fade. I gotta be ready to click things if I need to. Darker side. Emerge. 
<laughs> Hideous, isn't it? <laughs> get in there, there. Get in, get in there. But the king realized that he loved the lady, no matter what she looked like. Although, gorgeous babe was preferable. And it was his love that brought her back. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> she was, uh, right after she came back, she was uh, attacked by a roving band of raptors. And uh, <laughs> the king had her uh, stuffed and mounted, although uh, <laughs> not necessarily in that order. <laughs> That was a good acting uh, scene. What do you expect? A happy ending from guys named Pain and Terror? That is Sig Pain and Leroy Terror, my partner. And uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Hardest working people in these rooms, the waiters and waitresses. Come on, tip them generously. Oh, comedy Tarantino or serious Tarantino? Oh, shit. Serious would have gone with what we did before, but I want to say comedy because I want to see uh, that. Actually <laughs> Could you always show me where the complaint box is? Because I have a big old complaint. Uh, I never got my baked Alaska. You know, you know, the whole last meal part of this execution, they said I could get whatever I wanted. What a wanted. change. You know, I, and I, I ordered the blowfish and the baked Alaska. And they figured she okay, this is bad editing on my part because this energy does not pass, does not match the energy he had in the previous scene when he was manic Tarantino. I should have picked serious Tarantino, but I really wanted to see the comment. Maybe I'll get to change it. <laughs> Last week, you might as well show the blowfish then. We could do that, you know. But I never got the baked Alaska, and you know, I, I, th I don't think it's right that you know. I think I want to skip this thing altogether. Because, you know, I don't just think this is the right way to go about this. Simply because there's so many things I haven't seen, and there's so many things I haven't done. Like, for instance, I've never been to Paris. Did you know that? I've never been to Paris, and, and, and I've, I've never seen the Eiffel Tower. Me neither. I've never held a crying baby. I mean, I don't really want to hold a crying baby, but I never have, and that's like, you know, the options are cut off. Yeah, I've never seen Solaris all the way through. I mean, it was my fault. It was my fault. It was the movie. The movie's great. I, I was tired He's of that. He's so good. Yeah, you know, and also, you know, I, I can't ever figure out how to, I haven't figured out how to work my VCR. That, 12 thing just keeps flashing no matter oh, what I do and no the program Don't worry! In heaven, none of the good shows I've ever scheduled opposite each other. You think really? he's gonna be yeah, in heaven? You think he's a murderer? Cool. Yeah! So okay, this is ridiculous. This whole movie should have been a comedy, otherwise, like, this is a, this scene does not fit. I need to read it. I need to edit this. But you mean to tell me that in heaven, I'm watching ER and I'm watching Chicago Hope and. Hey, zap this for me. Uh, okay, we're done with comedy. The whole movie, I I already fucked up. I already fucked up on the editing. This is gonna be a terrible movie. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Important exposition. I'm done with the jokes. I'm done with the comedy. I talked with Laura. She sure. Magicians have framed you, and she figured out a way to get backstage at their club. That's too dangerous, Ma. How could you let her do that? How could I stop her? She loves you, Jack. Aw, she loves Maybe you. Maybe as much as I do. Aww. I never would have thought Jennifer Aniston and Quentin Tarantino ever did like a romance thing together. Gun cake, gun leg, tantrum diversion. I should. I want to say tantrum. Shit. Oh, 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 mom, mom, are you okay? Mom, are you, um, faint. Oh, mom, please, please. I'm not sorry. There wasn't enough time to read all the options. Oh, you're precise. Yes. I'll, 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 I'll be like, What the fuck is going on in my own movie? <laughs> Meanwhile, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, so that I can do uncomedy. Because that, okay, it makes sense. It was part of a dream. Okay. That's fine. Jack, it's time. Now, could I choose serious Tarantino? I guess not. Okay. I fear no evil. I think that decision to do Groundhog Day to save the movie because the ridiculousness of that last scene 
makes sense now because it was a dream. Like, he went from manic to funny. It's because it was a dream, okay? That's... It's a good movie now. Thou art I saved it. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, he's mouthing it. Ever. Amen. Something about Quentin Tarantino, he's kind of sexy in like a scary way. Yeah, because if he had shot the guards, then he's supposed to be in jail. That's real murder. Okay, can I pick a different one now? Okay, I'm ready. Tantrum diversion. There we go. There we go, baby. Let's walk. Yeah, well, I don't want to be late now, do I? Um, uh, Mom? Well, I guess this is goodbye. There we go. <laughs> See, that energy matches before when he was manic. So again, I saved it. I saved it. I'm a good director and editor. Oh, sh sh shouty standoff. I don't like shootouts, so that's why I picked that. Yeah, I'm a desperate and I want to hear more of Tarantino. A man and a desperate man with a hooded gun is telling you to put the gun down. Put the gun down, man. More stand up. Gotta build suspense, you know. Oh, they're getting tired. Oh no, it's comedy again. Oh no! Oh no, it's getting comedy again. This isn't supposed to be a comedy. Escalate. I should have picked Escalate. God damn it. Enough stand up! Okay. Now he's definitely doing something illegal that was the problem. <gasps> Not the mom! The suspense! Did I not read the script enough? I guess that, that might have happened in the script. Yeah, I don't think the cop would kill his mom. Put it down, man! I'll kill him! I'll kill him! This is a movie, though. Anything could happen. It's my movie. I If I wanted him to kill the mom, it's really... I I don't want him to, though. Honey, honey, listen to me. You're no killer. You're bitter, but you're not a killer. His it's face is so weird. Don't, okay, don't worry about it. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, listen, I, I need to speak to the governor. She's uh, expecting my call. Who are you? Oh, no. What's your game? Oh, no. oh I was afraid it was all made. But, um, but ever since I've uh, laid eyes on you, I've been more in the mood for hearts. Weird. You know, besides being a master illusionist, I'm also a genuine psychic. Mm. So do you um, have a crystal ball? <laughs> That's an awfully personal question. <laughs> well, uh, she's what do you in my future. Oh, I can't predict your future, my dear. 
I think no matter what I do, this movie's not gonna turn out very great. Cause you don't have. Grab the sword. Grab the sword. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Whoa. No! No! Drama. I'm trying to not be comedic because I feel like this should be a serious movie. And now I'm regretting that decision. Oh no. I know this is supposed to be my movie, but <laughs> I didn't actually have that much control. If my son was being executed, I don't think I would watch it. I get in the movie it makes sense though. Like if I actually made a movie, I would put the mom there. So that's accurate. Gotta tell that extra not to chew gum in the execution scene. Oh no! Get him, Laura! Or what's her name? Save him! Sleep! Damn. Call the governor. Just in time. Save him. I want this to be a happy ending. Hello, Hello are you still there? Yes. Hello, this is Laura. I was just speaking to you before I need the governor. She's expecting my call. Please put her on the phone. Hello. I don't care been... what she is doing. Would you please just get her out of the room? And I need to speak to her. I guess it would have been interesting if she did steal a tiara, but I want this to be a happy ending. I'm determined to make a happy ending here as much as I can. Are you? Oh, hello, please. Yes. You have to stop the explanation. I've, I've got to stop. What do you mean explanation? I didn't say explanation. I said Good triumphs. Explanation. That's what I meant. The, the, the whole OD crown, oh, the, the thing with the crown, I found it, and I know that she didn't do it, so you've got to help me. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> wow. He got electrocuted, and now he's gonna get electrocuted. Rolling. What did directors do? My goodness. Out of all the ways to be executed in like when you're on death row, which would you would you want? Let me know in the comments. Electric chair, <laughs> uh, poison injections, guillotine. I know they don't do that anymore, but let's pretend guillotine or uh, hanging. How would you like to be executed? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Firing squad. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> the governor calls. Gag phone call. Any last words? That would be so sad. I don't want this to be sad. God, Perfect acting, Hello? Tarantino. Perfect. Yes, governor. It's the yes, governor. Yes, right, right away. Well, seems your girl's been playing beat the clock. Happy ending! Happy ending! Yeah! Accidental execution. That'd be funny, but sad. Yay! We 
did it! We got a happy ending to our movie. Laura! Oh wow. Oh wow. Tarantino and Anderson getting it. Who would have thunk? Not me. Yay! Wait. I directed it, I thought. <laughs> I thought I directed that. Is that it? Is that the whole movie? Wait! I don't get to re-edit anything though. What if I needed to change something? I guess I'd have to replay the game, huh? Well, that was, that was fun. Yay! I like the part where we watch the movie. <laughs> I didn't really care about the pre-production stuff. That seemed like it was pretty repetitious, but those like quick decisions that was fun and we got to have a, a happy ending if i ever play this again we'll do a bad ending there's so many possibilities yay well that was it that was director's chair steven spielberg's director's chair um aside from letting me know how you would be executed uh let me know what else you thought i guess in the comments or other games i should play or if this is a movie that you would watch i'd buy a ticket i know i would i'm going to the premiere i directed it and edited it <laughs> so that's it <laughs> like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'll see you guys next time bye thanks for watching honeybees make sure to like and subscribe bye Meow.